Well, guys, Lonzo Ball knew the Lakers needed a lead. Thanks, David. Well, we're moving into the heart of the NBA season, Clark. Uh, has chemistry and pecking order in a locker room been set by the coach and by the team at, at this point of the year? Yeah, I think with veteran teams, it's pretty well established. But again, the makeup of your veterans is key there. Um, with younger teams, though, I think they begin to... It's a process. It's an ongoing process of figuring out roles right, right. and pecking order. So as Boys, you nice get into the middle part of the season, the heart of it, I think the young guys do start to kind of figure it out. And the Grizzlies start out with the ball. And now the Lakers starting group. LeBron and Kuzma make up the forwards. Hart is out there with Lonzo Ball. And it's McGee in at the center. Ball against Conley. Shot clock at six. Shoots over Ball. And it's off the back rim. No good. LeBron against Anderson. James the pass to ball back to James that one drops for him LeBron's got the scoreboard going with his first points of the night for the Lakers here's Temple outside Jackson looking for Anderson he gets it there it's good the assist this time from Jackson and it's always nice to get the easy look inside for your first points of the game. And the pass to Hart. James outside. Now, here's Ball. He's coming off a 13-point game against the Spurs in San Antonio. And it was not a one-man show. That was the best part. He had just as good a game with his passing as he did with his scoring. Man, you got to respect and appreciate how polished LeBron is inside. I mean, he really excels at creating opportunities for himself close to the rim. Here's Temple. Eight points his last outing. Five to shoot. And the call will be against Lonzo Ball. That's his first foul. Here's Jackson. Sinks that one from the post. Jackson's got his first two points. Yeah, good awareness there. He sees an opening and doesn't hesitate. Boy, it's a thing of beauty watching him attack the defense like that. I mean, they wanted no part of him on that layup. Hart, no good. Boy, I'm surprised he couldn't put that away. I mean, the defense clearly botched an assignment leaving him open. And Temple kicks to Conley. to Gasol and it's good for two Gasol's got his first basket of the night and you know Gasol is really superb at scoring over the defense inside now it's not just his height and length but I think it's his girth too he knows how to use every part of his body in close back to Hart fires the three that shot off and close to making the defense pay for the lax coverage that time. Got a piece of it. Now, Ball. He's averaging just around eight and a half points a game. Here's the floater. And that one is good. And, and Ball has so much confidence on this floater in addition to a nice touch with it so that makes it really hard to deal with Gasol finds Conley back to Gasol down to five on the shot clock from past the arc no good shot missing and the Lakers take it the other way James the pass to Kuzma Anderson against LeBron. Hurt. And trying for the go-ahead basket. It doesn't go in. Anderson outside. Pass to Conley. Jackson looking it over. Gasol against McGee. 
No one near Conley as he lets it go. Good, and the assist goes to Gasol. Conley's got himself on the board with three there. And you got to love just how smart of a point guard Mike Conley is. You never get the sense he is forcing anything with the ball and keeps it moving around to his teammates, very aware of his spacing and the spacing of others while running that offense. Here's Hart. No points in the game yet for him. He kicks it to LeBron. Here's Kuzma. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. Yeah, not a great shot there, especially when you got a lockdown defender guarding. Agreed. I mean, when the defense is right there, you got to move the ball, make the extra pass. That's a case of a poor shot selection. Yeah, and it just seems that every pass they make is leading to a score. Just great ball movement. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. And Clark, a lot of great names to choose from, but who would you pick for your greatest Laker ever? Wow, that's always tough when you have such a robust list, Kevin. I always start with Kareem whenever he's in the conversation because that guy was my idol as I grew up watching the game. So Kareem is there, Magic, Wilt, Shaq, Elgin, and Jerry West, and Kobe. That's too many, isn't it? Uh, yeah, it is. Some great Shoot names two. there, though, Clark. You're right. Hard to pick just one. That one is off. And, and really, no better leader in the NBA than LeBron. The, the closest thing to a player coach we've had in a long time. Second free throw, good. Here's Temple. He's a good contributor to his team, averaging about 10 and a half points a game. Conley kicks to Gasol. And the call will be against Lonzo Ball. That's foul number two for him. I think he's going to have to be more cautious on defense. He can't afford to pick up a third foul here in the first quarter. Caldwell Pope, he's checked in for the Lakers. Ball's knocked loose. Stolen by McGee. Conley against Caldwell Pope. The 11-footer, and it's in after a nice bounce off the right side. Seven points for LeBron. Nice start as he's knocked down three of his first four and has hit the ground at high speed. Conley against Kuzma. Passes it to Gasol. Caldwell Pope trying to break free. And there's Mark Gasol on the assist by Conley. Conley's got three assists tonight. Lakers trail by five. Caldwell Pope outside. To the paint. Hart the pass to Kuzma from deep. LeBron, no good. Looking at Los Angeles, they want to turn it around after the loss to the Spurs in San Antonio. Yeah, and in a hostile environment, they did not rise to the occasion, especially on the defensive side. Yeah, there was no shine on that effort. Really lackluster. Their D was nowhere to be found. Caspi, he's checked in for the Grizzlies. Jackson misses. For Los Angeles, they've gone 4 of 10 shooting the ball here in the first quarter. Caldwell Pope against Conley. Caldwell Pope kicks to Hart. Five to shoot. Got a piece of it. Fires from the wing. And it's LeBron missing. Man, right play, wrong result on that one. Generally, you knock those down. Not much else you can do there. I mean, that's what you want. Too bad they weren't able to finish it off. Temple dishes to Jackson. Back to Temple. From deep. It's hauled in by LeBron. And truth is, though he misses that one, it's a shot he normally makes. You're exactly right, Greg. That's certainly in his range. Forget about the miss and get ready for the next one. Now here's Conley. He's guarded closely. 
Jackson in the corner. Here's Temple. He's guarded by Caldwell Pope. He's still fighting it, and sometimes the harder you try, the worse it gets. He's trying to get in the rhythm, but right now he's playing hard, but he's hurting his team. Last break, Memphis. Conley for three. Connects from three-point range. Conley's got six points. And the spacing that Conley provides from long range really has become crucial to this offense. So timeout called here. The first for Los Angeles. This, of course, their first opportunity to play Memphis this season. And two teams here that were evenly matched a season ago as they split the season series. Yeah, they'd settle for 500 against most teams. Both squads win challenge, perhaps a way to put it. But one of them has got to win tonight. Some changes here for the Grizzlies. Rabs checked in for Gasol. Jermichael Green comes in for Jackson. And Shelvin Max subbed in for Garrett Temple. And then for Los Angeles, Tyson Chandler is checked in for JaVale McGee. Beasley comes in for Kyle Kuzma. Lance Stevenson subbed in for Hart. Caldwell Pope feeling it out a bit. Kicks to LeBron. Over Conley, and he gets it to go, hitting off the back of the rim. Nine points for LeBron. Yeah, those shots are taken totally in rhythm, high percentage quality shots, and really getting whatever he wants. Here is Caspi, covered by LeBron, and James picks up the foul. That's his first foul. Green kicks to Caspi. And there's the pass to Matt. Shot clock at five. Misses off the right iron. Lakers trail by four. Stevenson outside. Pass to Caldwell Pope. And he gets the basket. Officials blowing the whistle, so a chance at the line for one more. Yeah, that's just outstanding focus on these hard finishes. I mean, Caldwell Pope fighting the score through contact and making it happen. And a closer look here at the scoring breakdown for the Grizzlies. They have definitely had a hot hand from three-point range. Always nice to get off to a good One start. Shot, gentlemen. The other thing they've had going for them tonight is their passing. I mean, doing a nice job. Plenty of their points early on coming off assists. That free throw good from Caldwell Pope. We always talk about the need for front court players who can both shoot and defend along the perimeter. Clark, if we're taking that in mind, who would you point to as the prototype for the new school big? Well, I think the uh, guy with the most potential in that regard is Joel Embiid. I mean, he's agile. He's got a nice touch. He's got three-point range. He's got post-up ability. And I think he can become an impactful defender because of his physical attribute. So he would be the poster guy for me in terms of the uh, potential prototype for the new school B. And last season, not a beat miss for KCP. Even after switching teams, he played his same brand of defense. Unfortunately, the lack of bite shooting the ball stayed the same as well. That's an area he's got to improve. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And the first one drops. 
And Clark, for KCP, you play him for the defense and just hope he helps you out on the offensive side in some way. Well, you know, he's never been an efficient scorer, Kevin, but you don't need him to be. I mean, the steals are always going to be there, and he's a nuisance on that end of the floor and can guard just about any perimeter position. He's also improved his rebounding, which allows him to help in a lot of ways. So this guy defensively on the glass, he's a winner and a keeper. Beasley against Brooks. Pass to Mack. The teardrop falls in. Max got his first points of the night. Nice looking floater there, Kevin. Such a fast shot, a quick release. Really hard to guard that. And a wide open look for James. And again, no good by the Lakers. Memphis leading by three. Brooks with it. Now guarded by Caldwell Pope. And here's the fast break. LeBron leading the way. Swiped it away. A minute 20 left to play in the first quarter. Back to Mack. Brooks with no one around. Good. And the nice assist from Mack. Now it's a five-point Grizzly lead. And you can see there the defender gets caught up on the pick. I think he's got to be more aggressive, stronger, getting through those screens. Can't allow shooters that kind of space to pull the trigger. And that one's good by LeBron. He's simply a machine at the offensive end. I wonder how far behind they'd be if he wasn't having this kind of court. Here's Rab. He's guarded by Chandler. Deep two from Brooks. No good off the front iron. The shot's there for him, and he's got to take it. I, I don't care if he doesn't convert. That's a shot he has to continue to take. And Stevenson kicks to LeBron. Over Caspi. And another basket for the Lakers. And of the last six baskets, five have come on the interior. This is just smash mouth physical basketball, guys. Brooks feeling it out a bit. Out to the right wing. Shot clock at six. The Grizzlies shooting their first foul shots of the night here. And 75% and on the season as a unit from the free throw line. You know, the numbers from the line, guys, are close to where they were last year. Uh, but just a tad worse, so... Not too bad. He's off on the first. And he's good on the second. LeBron, that's a two-pointer. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. He's made one and missed one so far in the game. Shooting two. Free throw missing. And he's good on the second. So at the end of one quarter of play, still a close game. Grizzlies out in front. They lead by one. And back in a moment as we'll get underway with quarter number two. One of the better two-way guards in the NBA, Mike Conley, said his inspiration growing up was none other than Gary Payton. He was one of my favorite players growing up. Um, I had Gary Payton jersey, had the shoes, 
everything. So when I looked at a player, I was like, you know, he plays on both ends. I want to be able to do that too. And you know, Conley, maybe not the size of Peyton, but Greg, he's always taken the challenge defensively. And you can see how much of an influence the glove had on Conley. He plays a lot like him on that end. And some good action in the books as we get back to the game that's been pretty close here so far. And taking a look at the Grizzlies' performance here, guys, uh, what have they been doing or not doing? They've gotten that perimeter game going in that first, and for me, that was the difference. Yep, firing with confidence and rhythm, Greg. I mean, not allowing the defense to take a break. So on the floor for the Lakers to start this second quarter, ball is the point with KCP at his side. Chandler out there with Beasley, and it's James in at the small forward. That's tipped. And we're going to have a jump ball. It's tied up there. You two players. Ball's knocked loose. And it's the Grizzlies with the ball. Mack, the pass to Rab. And now ball pushing it up. No one back to stop him. And guys, let's get your take on the hustle stats for the Lakers. They've come out in attack mode on the defensive end. They've applied pressure and forcing turnovers. The other thing that's helped them early tonight are the points they've been able to convert off turnovers. Mack with the ball. He's up against Beasley. Clock is at three. Here's Brooks. Rebound the Lakers. James has got his fourth rebound in this one. Okay, well, let's go down to David Aldridge for a report from the sideline. Hey, guys. Well, Mark Gasol is the more fiery of the Gasol brothers. Pal Gasol says, I sugarcoat things a little more than Mark. He's more emotional, more direct. And Mark said, when a mistake happens on defense, I know you're not concentrating. I don't allow that. He knows controlling his frustration is important. He says, I'm working on it. Guys? Part of leadership, DA. Thank you. Passes to Selden. And stolen by LeBron. Count the bucket. And he's got a free throw coming up as well. He is in the zone. There's a reason he keeps getting the ball. They're feeding him because they trust him to lead their team. The position of power forward, Clark, that was your position. Did you ever think it would become a major weapon for stretching the floor as it is now? No, I didn't see that evolution happening. I mean, again, at that time in the 80s, even into the 90s, you had the small forward and the power forward was more of an enforcer. I was actually kind of a hybrid right. at the time because I could deal inside effectively on the glass and because of my size and strength, but also could step out and put it on the floor and pass it a little bit. So, no, the evolution with the four-man in this day and age, I did not foresee that at all. Love what's happened with it, but it speaks, I think, to the athleticism and skill of these bigger guys now. It does. So, timeout called here. The first for Memphis. They defeated the Pelicans in their last game. Away from home, you got to execute, and, and they did that flawlessly. And that's what it comes down to, execution, especially when you're on the road. Can you follow your game plan? I thought they were awesome in that game. And to look now at the four areas where shots can come from. The paint, mid-range, and shots from deep all broken down for Los Angeles. And the one shot they've stayed away from tonight has been that long three. They've been a little more consistent with their shot selection, not launching as many deep threes. And Mack kicks to Selden. And the pass to Rab. Here's Selden. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. 
an opportunity here to go to the 2K leaderboard and see who's been the hottest of the hot at the small forward position for the past month. LeBron James, number one. You know, call him whatever you want. <laughs> the bottom line is he just finds a way to score. And when he gets going, he can tear the rest of the NBA to shreds. Well, there's no question. He is the priority for any defense they're up against. He's impossible to shut down entirely. So you just want to slow him down from his spot on the wing. And he makes the first. Marcus Alls checked in for the Grizzlies. And good on the second, so he makes them both. And a little under two and a half minutes gone by here in the second quarter. Ball kicks to Caldwell Pope. LeBron trying to free himself up. Off the left rim and out. So Mack will bring it up for the Grizzlies. The outside leaner. That one's good. The Laker lead is cut to just five points in the basket from Selden. You know, it went down, guys, but still unusual to go to the leaner there with so much space around it. Here's Caldwell Pope. That falls. Nice feed that time from Ball. Nine points for Contavious Caldwell Pope. Caldwell Pope is very comfortable near the rim, cashing in from there. The drive by Brooks. Gasol wide open. He fires. And again, it's Memphis with a three. Tell you what, it does not matter who's shooting. The defense has got to be better at getting a hand up on long range shooters. You've got to challenge the shot. Here's LeBron, and the layup's good off the glass. James has got 21. They are just killing them on the interior. Yeah, you can't say that with enough emphasis. I mean, the defenders are just not being aggressive enough down low. You got to play with some physicality in the paint. The Grizzlies making a switch here. Anderson's checked in. The Lakers also making some changes. Kyle Kuzma's checked in for Beasley. And Hart subbed in for Caldwell Pope. Chandler with the steal. Here's Hart. Brooks covering. Hart the pass to LeBron. Kuzma kicks the ball. Back to Kuzma. Shot clock at five. The Lakers need to get a shot off here. And that'll be the Lakers as it goes out of bounds. Lakers retain possession. Garrett Temple has checked in for Memphis. Conley now comes in for Mack. The Lakers also with a sub. JaVale McGee's checked in for Tyson Chandler. Off the inbound pass. Here's McGee. It's rebounded by Memphis. After this one, they're off to Denver to take on the Nuggets. That will be a getaway game for them, a one-game road trip. Anderson finds Conley. Memphis moving it around. Temple, the pass to Selden. Lock at six. And the three ball is good. Selden's got seven points. Yeah, these defenders had better start closing down on shooters. Ball, the pass to LeBron. Gets it to fall, and now he's 10 of 15 on the game. And that bucket adds to what has been a big difference in points in the paint between the two teams. Yeah, it's really been quite a contast. I like the way they're time attacking out, the out. middle um, at their offensive end. Timeout called Sorry. the Grizzlies. Look at LeBron James. He's really been playing well. Yeah, he is on a major roll today. This timeout was desperately needed. They've got to come up with a new game plan designed to shut him down.
Jackson. He's checked in for Selden. And checking out the stats for Marcus Hall. This last month, he's been positively spectacular, averaging about 19 points, nine rebounds, and three assists. And his rebounding is what's most impressive. He's shown tremendous determination on the backboard. And it's a big asset for this team. I mean, he blocks out on the defensive glass, and then he keeps balls alive at the offensive end. Lakers leading by five, and the whistle blows. It's going to be on Michael Conley. That's his first foul. Hart kicks to LeBron. It's up a three. Hart, no good. I'm not sure why he keeps trying his luck from deep here. It's just not his night. And you watch Kyle Henderson out there. They, they call him slow-mo for how he moves on the court. It just one of those jack-of-all-trades type of players on offense. And wasn't known for his defense, but has put in a lot of work to improve in that area. The jump hook and Kuzma with the basket on the assist by LeBron. James has got three assists tonight. The Grizzlies trail by seven. Conley scanning the floor. He kicks it to Jackson. Back to Conley. Right side Gasol. McGee with the block. Ball against Conley. Hart the pass to James. The rebound by Anderson. Anderson's got four rebounds now tonight. Over in the corner, Conley drills the three-pointer. Conley's got nine. Maybe he's not one of the elite sharpshooters, but even still, that's not a shot that he can afford to give him. Stolen by Anderson. A floater, and that one falls coming off Conley's feet. Conley's got four assists in the game. And so James will bring it up for the Lakers. Their biggest lead of the game was nine. And it's in after a nice bounce off the right side. LeBron's got 11 points in the quarter. You know, this quarter has been all him, all about him. They're getting it to him in his spots, and he's taking over. McGee against Gasol. It's JaVale McGee with the rebound. A yeah, good interior D there prevents the deuce. And, you know, that's not easy at all. When guys get this close to the bucket, it's tough to stop the basket. James looking it over. Kicks it to ball. Just five on the clock. Fires the three. Trains it from beyond the arc. And now a seven-point Los Angeles lead. Grizzlies have gone 5 of 12 from the field here in the second. Anderson outside. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. That's on LeBron James. No question, he got bumped on that shot. Yeah, the officials didn't need to talk that one over. It was obvious. For Memphis, they have shot 75% at the line tonight, going 3 for 4. And the first one at the line is good. Caspi, he's checked in for Memphis. And the Lakers also making a switch. Stevenson's checked in. Both free throws good from Anderson. And working, Kevin, themselves to the line here in the second. A nice way to get your offense going. And maybe cause some foul trouble along the way as well. And we know what that can do. It pays off typically in good fashion for you. Stevenson against Anderson. Here's Hart. And again, Los Angeles with a triple. 
He's really starting to ramp it up now, getting involved in the offense here after being held without a point in the first. Conley kicks to Jackson. Now the feed to Temple. Pass to Conley. Inside. Releases. And again, Memphis no good. That's exactly how you want to play it defensively, Kevin. I mean, getting a hand up to distract and bother the shooter. Not easy to stop somebody this deep inside. It's a nice passing here by Los Angeles. That pushes it to double digits. Time out, time out. And now it's a 10-point Los Angeles lead. The timing, the rhythm. Kuzma really does a nice job catching the defense off guard with those catch-and-shoot jumpers. Now a timeout called by Memphis. Well, there's a ton to talk about Lonzo Ball, but if you focus just on what he brings to an offense, there's a lot to like. Yeah, I mean, he just sees so much on the floor. I mean, he sees all the cuts and angles, both offensively and defensively. And, and we know his shot will be a work in progress, but it shows some improvement in consistency the second half of last year. And for all the circus that can surround Ball off the court, you forget that he is already an elite playmaker in the NBA. Let's take this moment to bring you a leaderboard featuring a very well-rounded group. The top rebounding small forwards in the NBA the last 10 games. Kyle Anderson third. And maybe they're not the biggest or strongest players in the front court, but that hasn't limited their ability to get in there and, and mix it up and come up with a lot of rebounds night in and night out. I think you've got to look at their athleticism. I mean, they make up for all the size and bulk they may give away to the post specialist. And really, that's how they're able to compete in there. Athleticism gives them an edge. Temple finds Conley. And again, Memphis no good. Yeah, not a great shot there, especially when you got a lockdown defender guarding. Agreed. I mean, when the defense is right there, you've got to move the ball, make the extra pass. That's a case of a poor shot selection. At the heart. Takes the three. It's rebounded by Memphis. This has been a rough, turbulent outing for him so far. Fortunately, the rest of his team has bailed him out. Now let's go to the sideline and catch up with our Hall of Famer, David Aldridge. Well, of course, there's no shortage of storylines in Los Angeles. Now, last season, some people thought that Lakers coach Luke Walton had lost his players, and the front office seemed slow to come to his defense. Now, Walton was a high-profile hire from Golden State in 2016, and you wonder if the Lakers will remain committed to their young coach if they can't start winning more regularly. Kevin? All right, David, thank you. He's going to force them to have to make adjustments. That's number four in terms of triples in the half. Up top, Stevenson. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. Ball with a wide open look. That ball. Nice feed that time from Stevenson. Ball's got the lead up to 10 now for the Lakers. Memphis has gone four or six from long range in the second quarter. Solid shooting. Here's Caspi up and in on the layup. And really, it's been a major aspect of their offense in the early stages here. Their success working the ball inside and getting points from close range. Stevenson outside. It's good. He makes his first shot of the game. Yeah, that's the kind of aggressive attitude Stevenson brings to the table. He's not going to sit back and settle for jump shots. If he can attack the basket, he will. Outside for Jackson. Here is Caspi, guarded by Kuzma. Now Caspi. Good D by Stevenson. 
Here's Hart. And again, it's the Lakers from deep. And good passing, setting up a lot of these buckets right now, Kevin. That's been the key. Time dropping delights is what I call it. I, that is a nice pass. I will give you that one. Yeah, he was on the money, that's no doubt. Conley dishes to Temple. Lets it go with a three. A rebound by the Lakers. McGee's got rebound number eight now on the night. Hart kicks the ball. Back to Hart. McGee in the high post. Here's Ball. And another three for the Lakers. And Kevin, I really think it's important that that shot becomes part of Ball's arsenal. He's got to get comfortable knocking down the three-point shot. And through the first half, a pretty lopsided affair. Lakers lead by 16. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thanks, Kevin. Contavious, you guys came out with a lot of energy in the first half. What got you going? Um, like you said, we came out with a lot of energy. Uh, we wanted to get easy basket uh, layups, uh, knock down shots. You got all that and more in that first half. Thanks. Back to you, Kevin. Thanks, David. And we'll be back shortly following halftime to get the third quarter underway. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hi again, everyone. I'm Ernie Johnson, sitting alongside the Diesel and the Jet. Welcome to the Halftime Show on 2K Sports. LeBron James had it going on in the first quarter. He had 25 points, 5 rebounds, and 2 steals. And let's get your thoughts, Kenny, on the Lakers. Well, shooters were popping open right and left. Exceptional ball movement. Guys racing off screens, spotting up, knocking down shots. That's the way you play basketball unselfishly, and it was superb, and they exploited all the weaknesses of the defense. And Shaq, let's get your input on the Grizzlies. Well, with the way they struggled to defend the three-point line, it started to look like warm-up drills. They cannot be afraid to bring more defenders out high. They got to make life tougher on those outside shooters. And that's a wrap for our halftime show, the third quarter, just about to get started. And after a very lopsided first half, we'll see if things play out a little more evenly here in the second. It's been a clinic out there by James. His points production thus far off the charts. It's only been two quarters. Just a great effort for him for the entire half. Yeah, and it doesn't matter where he is on the floor either, Greg. He's making it look very easy. He's looking to score the ball. And after a very lopsided first half, We'll see if things play out a little more evenly here in the second. Lakers leading by 16, all fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset the lineups courtesy of Gatorade for the second half of basketball. So on the four for Memphis. Jackson down low with Gasol. Conley out there with Garrett Temple. And it's Anderson in at the three. Here's Conley. And the basket is good, and he's got a chance here for one more at the line. You know, when Conley's scoring like this, I think they are a better team. I mean, the passing is great, but fill it up, Mike. I'm loving this. And he's got his first chance at the line here. One shot. And that one falls for Mike Conley. And Mike Conley, the fellow Buckeye, is about as reliable as it gets in running his team and doing everything you want a point guard to do. A crafty defender, he also has really elevated his game offensively. Ball, the pass to Hart. McGee with it. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. Here's Ball. Off target with his three. The Grizzlies trail by 13. And there's the foul. It'll go on Josh Hart. 
That's foul number two for him. On defense, the Lakers. At one point, they led by 16. Pass to Conley. Shoots the three. Hey, it's hard to teach reach. Ball has a nice extension to him and superb at being able to challenge shooters because of it. Pass to Hart. Down low. James kicks to Hart. Yes, and it's LeBron picking up the assist. LeBron's got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. Memphis has gotten a positive outcome on seven of their 14 three-pointers in this game. Not bad at all. Here's Temple. Jump shot is good that time. Temple's got five. Los Angeles leading by 13. And here is Ball. 13 points in the game. Got it. Good job in the low post. He's got 15. I tell you what, because of his size and ball skills and vision, he's a handful for any defense, Lonzo Ball. I mean, he's able to convert primarily because of his size and sneaky strength. Here's Anderson. It's hauled in by LeBron. James has got six rebounds now in the game. A slight rebound advantage for them. One more column in their favor, and it's all adding up. Well, you take a look at all of the stats, the team stats, that is, and that's one of the many areas that they've had the advantage. And as a result, they've got a big lead. Here's the teardrop, and they pick up two. LeBron's got 27. Boy, Ball has a nice feel for when his guys are open. He's solid, really solid when it comes to time getting out, his out. teammates clean looks. Now a timeout called by Memphis. And even now in his mid-30s, Marcus All is fantastic. I mean, he gives you everything you want at that center position. Strong defender and, and rebounder, and he has a host of ways to get you buckets. Some changes for Memphis. Jermichael Green, he's checked in for Jackson. And Max subbed in for Garrett Temple. The Lakers also changing it up. Chandler comes in for JaVale McGee. And it's Beasley in for Kyle Kuzma. And with Gasol, he continues to develop his outside shot, Greg, to act as a stretch center now. Yeah, and really the combination of his three ball shooting and his passing, really, even at this stage of his career, makes him a tough cover. You worry if he'll settle too much for that outside shot but boy when he is on there are few answers for slowing him down the Grizzlies making a switch here Brooks checked in and the Lakers also making a switch Caldwell Pope's checked in Green finds Mack Anderson against James it's Anderson with the drive good on the shot Anderson's got eight points Nice looking floater there, Kevin. Such a fast shot, a quick release. Really hard to guard that. Ball, the pass to James. Now, here's Ball. He's covered by Mack. Back to LeBron. That falls. Nice feed that time from Ball. Ball's got his seventh assist in the game. The Grizzlies trail by 16. Knocked away. It's good again in an excellent seven for eight shooting night so far. Man, he's got great speed, Ball does, Kevin. This guy is really good at finding ways to slither through the defense. And Anderson has it in the corner. No good from outside. 
and even with good coverage defensively that time, he has confidence to drill the three. Busy, busy, busy. James against Anderson, and the whistle blows on the backcourt violation. He went over and back. Now we get a chance to check out LeBron James. Unbelievable play for him over the last month. He's around 30 points per clip, six assists, and seven rebounds. And, and you know, pretty terrific numbers across the board. Yeah, so many books in his library, he lights up the scoreboard on a nightly basis. And the call will be against Lonzo Ball. That will get him his fourth foul of the game. And Memphis making a change here. Seldon's checked in. Green kicks to Brooks. Oh, to the right side. The Grizzlies with another miss. Lakers leading by 18. To the middle, here's Chandler. Solid play in the low block, and that one's good. And I'll tell you what, guys, I think that's the best part of James's game, and he's got a lot of good parts, but his vision is otherworldly. Mac finds Gasol. Some nice passing there by Memphis. The pass to ball. That one, no good. Now Memphis takes it the other way. Brooks outside. Cloak loose, out to the right wing. Pass to Gasol. Six to shoot. Here's Sheldon. And another miss by Memphis. Los Angeles has gone one of two from beyond the arc since coming out of the break. And the dunk by LeBron. Yeah, first and foremost, he's a pass first team player, is Caldwell Pope. Love seeing that. And Mack kicks to Gasol. And there's the call on Chandler. That's foul number two for him. And the next one puts him in the bonus. Yep, they'll be trying to draw that next foul quickly so they can start getting those easy chances at the strike. Chandler with the steal. Now here's LeBron. He's guarded closely. Ball, the pass to James. Gasol with the steal. Now here's Matt. Looking in his numbers, he averages a bit over nine points a game. Gasol against Chandler. And there's the foul on the shot. He'll go to the line two for shots, two. Gentlemen. And Marcus Saul, a force on both ends of the floor. You forget, you know, Greg, that he's won a Defensive Player of the Year award. Yeah, you know, Gasol doesn't, doesn't really wow you on defense with what he does. I mean, he gets blocks, but it's really his positioning and, and his rotations are what make him so great. Always involved in plays, and he just seems to be able to protect the rim and a, a terrific team defender. Roof shot. First one falls for him. And you know, by now, I don't think there's much question. Mark and his brother Power are the best one-two brother punch in NBA history. How about over 30,000 points combined? That's also good. So he hits both free throws. You look at player contracts today, Clark, a little different from the one after you signed your rookie year. What, four years and a million dollars? Do I have that right? Yeah, you got the numbers right, Kevin. And you know, I look at that as all relative. How about the guys who played way before me? Right. And they were traveling on trains to games and were working jobs during the summer. I mean, it's all a function of the revenue generation of the league, which has grown exponentially. Since I played, we were part of the group that actually saw the first salary cap instituted in the early 80s so growth is part of what we see now in players salaries and I'm all for the guys to get what they deserve from that standpoint knocked loose stolen by Caldwell Pope James in the post pulls up on the wing the rebound by Gasol. Gasol's got nine rebounds now tonight. And here's Brooks from outside. LeBron grabs the miss. 
James has got eight rebounds in this game. Chandler kicks the ball. Caldwell Pope outside. Back to ball. Four on the clock. Green with the block. And they force the shot clock violation. Great D. And the Grizzlies with some changes. Rab comes in for Mark Gasol. And it's Caspi in for Brooks. Lance Stevenson's checked in for the Lakers. Here's Mack. Pass to Selden. And another miss by Memphis. Los Angeles leading by 20. Feeds it to Ball. That ball. Nice feed that time from Stevenson. Stevenson's got three assists in the game. Mack finds Green. Back to Mack. To the wing on the left. Five on the clock. Caspi and Chandler sends it back. And how about the basketball IQ of Chandler? Just knows exactly when to sky and commit to blocking shots. Here's Mack. And he gets it to go from the corner. Max got his second basket of the game. For Los Angeles, they've gone better than 53% from the floor since halftime. Shooting 8 of 15. Down low. It's stolen by Green. Here's Zeldin. He's guarded by Caldwell Pope. Stolen by Caldwell Pope. Stevenson left side. Drops in the layup for two. And what's your take, guys, on the hustle stats for the Lakers? The activity level defensively, I I've really been impressed with. They've been in attack mode on the defensive end. They've repeatedly gotten out on the break tonight as well and scored a lot of baskets in transition. That foul gives him four, so he's got to settle down a bit. The Grizzlies have knocked down eight of nine free throw attempts. I'd say those numbers read pretty well. Two shots. And that one falls for Rab. And even though they're down, they are putting on a show at the free throw line. Yeah, they're making the most of their opportunities at the stripe, and they'll need to keep it up to take the lead. That one falls, so he hits both of them. Los Angeles leading by 20. Stevenson kicks to Chandler. Back to Stevenson. He feeds it to Beasley. And that one drops. And the crisp passing has opened things up for them offensively. Ten straight points off assist. That's very impressive. And it also makes the game easy and fun to watch. Here's Selden. He's guarded by Caldwell Pope. Back to Mack. Shot clock at six. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Let's now go to the 2K leaderboard to look at the teams that specialize in intimidation. Here are the real stats, real scores from the real NBA. The Grizzlies fourth. Take a break. The Lakers Take in a fifth. Break. And these Two teams stops. have both hung their hat on their defense, especially in the paint. We're looking at two of the premier shot blocking teams in our league. The first free throw is good. Jackson, he's checked in for Memphis. Conley now comes in for Wayne Selden. Kyle Kuzma's checked in for the Lakers. Josh Hart comes in for Lonzo Ball. And Matt drops them both. Los Angeles lead by 20. Caldwell Pope outside. On the wing, Stevenson. Taking a look at his numbers, he averages about seven points a game. That's good from Caldwell Pope on the assist from Stevenson. That's 12 points for Contavious Caldwell Pope. Conley, the pass to Rab. 
He kicks to Jackson. Outside Conley. They get a hand on it. 144 left to play in the third. And that one's good by Stevenson. And not quite as aggressive from outside as they were in the first half. Sticking to the high percentage shots. Playing smart with the lead. Back to Conley. There's the triple. Trains it from beyond the arc. Conley's got six points in the quarter. Boy, I tell you, he has been light out. Sadly, they're still behind. He needs his guys to step up. Don't let Lance shoot that. Stevenson outside. Teardrop shot. Here's Mack. That's in there. Conley with the assist. Max got his third basket of the night. And so far, going for more of an inside presence here in the second half, getting away from the three-point shot. Nobody near Stevenson. And it's Stevenson again missing. The Grizzlies trail by 20. Okay now, Conley. Outside Conley. Chandler against Jackson. Here's Mack. Offensive rebound. And he drops in the way up off the glass. Rab's got five points so far. Defensive rebounding, just such a crucial part of the game. Yeah, it's finishing your defense, Greg. We know that. You can defend, then you got to rebound the miss. And you got to get to the glass with intensity. Three seconds separate the shot clock and game clock. And Stevenson kicks to Hart. Shot clock at five. Here's Kuzma, and he banks in the layup. Six points for him. Kuzma excellent at using his height and touch to perfection. Very confident player. And so it's the Los Angeles Lakers controlling the game and finishing the quarter with a 20-point lead. The scoring has been tremendous, and they are shooting lights out with very high accuracy. We'll get right back to the action when we return. And let's take this chance now to show you the State Farm assist of the game. Yeah, an easy choice tonight. Look at the precision on this pass. Put it on a platter for him. Served him up a tasty room service dime right there, boy. And one quarter to go in a game that, to this point, has not been an evenly fought contest. And so Conley will bring the ball up for Memphis. So the Lakers five right now. Inside, we've got Kuzma and McGee. Hart is out there with Contavious caldwell Pope, And it's Stevenson in at the small forward. Anderson against Stevenson. Another shot. McGee with the block. And it's out of bounds. They say it was last touched by McGee. Just three to shoot. Stolen by Stevenson. And here we go. Kuzma heading to the hoop. That ball. Nice feed that time from Stevenson. Stevenson's got his sixth assist on the night. Grizzly shooting at a decent 44% clip here. Here's Temple. Outside Conley. Now Casper. Lock at six. From downtown, and Stevenson grabs the board. Just a solid performance on the interior. The rebounding has been off the charts. Yeah, you look across the board, it's actually sizing up, shaping up to be a great game. I mean, strong performances throughout, and they've really been strong on the glass. That one goes. Count it. And they've just been so comfortable at both ends of the floor. I mean, you'd almost think they're playing at home. 
Yeah, and the confidence really at a high level. Very impressive. They feel like this game is theirs, dominating right now. Yeah, I love the communication and the chemistry between those teammates. Los Angeles leading by 22. Hart the pass to Kuzma. Mark, it always seems the coaches get fired a lot, and there's kind of the rotating names there. But the GMs who hire them stay in place. What's your take on that? Yeah, you know, it's fairly complex, Kevin. I don't know if we have enough time to delve in it effectively here, but my initial feeling is every circumstance is a little different, and sometimes it's a little easier to move the coach than the general manager for whatever reason. But there should be more accountability for GMs, not just for who they draft, but also who they hire as coaches. So I'm mixed, but I kind of understand why sometimes the coach is a little more readily expendable. They get the rebound. Here's Temple. Pulled the shot a little left, but the bounce goes his way. The Lakers have gotten all three of their shots to drop here in the fourth quarter. They came out of the break on a roll. And over two and a half minutes in the books here in the fourth. Yeah, clearly a foul of frustration right there. Not his best moment. Obviously, no one on their team's happy right now, but you shouldn't be taking that frustration out on your opponent with a poor foul. Marcus Alls checked in for Casper. LeBron's checked in for Los Angeles. McGee with it. Passes it to Hart. Three-pointer. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Kyle Kuzma. That is his first foul of the game. And we're about three minutes into the fourth quarter. Anderson kicks to Conley. With some arc, and it's good on the way in. Conley's got 20. Oh, such a field shot there, the floater. And there's the pass to Kuzma. Back to Hart. We know Clark fans want to see star players. That's been a hot topic around the league. The league has added rules, in fact, that now prohibit resting guys on certain nights. Yeah, I think that's important that players have a real understanding of their responsibility. I understand trying to balance the rest versus the wear and tear of a course. Of, that's another reason I propose a shorter season. I don't think you'd end up with this kind of controversy or debate. But I thought the league was right in requiring I mean your responsibility is to play all the games you're available to play in, unless you're injured and I think it's important that guys take that responsibility seriously and it's a responsibility they have to themselves to the team the organization and the fans Lakers leading by 19 Caldwell Pope outside here's Hart Pass to Kuzma. Caldwell Pope kicks to James. Just five to shoot. Marcus Saul picks up the foul. That is his first foul of the game. Lonzo Ball is checked in for the Lakers. Here's Kuzma. Converts on the jumper for the easy two. Kuzma's got four points in the quarter. Taking on everybody, all comers. Kuzma's very aggressive, and he's used to getting hit on the way up. Plays well through contact. Knocks it loose. Gasol with the steal. Here's Temple. Pass to Conley. Kicks it to Gasol. Six to shoot. Memphis needs to get off a shot here. Count it. Boy, I like how fast, how quickly he went up with the shot, realizing that his man had no chance. Los Angeles leading by 19. Ball, the pass to LeBron. That's tipped. And Memphis with another turnover here. And a quick look now at how the Memphis Grizzlies schedule is shaping up. 
On Monday, they'll be matching up with Nikola Jokic and the Denver Nuggets. And then on Wednesday, they'll go up against C.J. McCollum and the Portland Trailblazers. And for the matchup with the Heat, that's going to be one where it would take a lot of errors and maybe a cold shooting night for things to go wrong. They just have that much of an advantage over that team. A pass first point guard, Lonzo Ball, is very consistent at looking to get his teammates involved. Conley kicks to Gasol. Back to Conley. Takes the assist and lays it in. Pick out the pass nicely. Conley's got 14 points now in the second half. Ball against Conley. Here's the floater. You really got to admire the reach of Gasol. He's excellent at utilizing those long arms of his to turn away shots. And it seems as if someone got their signals crossed if he can wind up that open from three-point range. I'm sure that was not a part of the game plan. LeBron passes the ball. And Ball slams it in. Yeah, you got to admire really how smoothly Ball takes over games with the scoring. I mean, he knows he can pretty much get his shot off at any time from any spot. Conley against Ball to the paint, stolen by McGee. To the inside. Kuzma against Jackson. Ball kicks to Hart. Just five to shoot. They get a hand on it. On the high post. Grizzlies with the rebound. Gasol's got double-digit rebounds now in the game. Anderson dishes to Temple. That's in for his fifth make of the night. Now shooting at a 50% clip. Five for 10. Well, nothing was going down for him in the first half. But since the break, he's been on target. LeBron has doubled. Marcus Gasol picks up the foul. That's foul number two for him. On the wing, James. He's covered by Anderson. Poked away. Stolen by Anderson. Turnovers continuing to be a problem here in this quarter. They've been disjointed offensively, guys. I mean, they've given back some of the lead because of it. Ball against Conley. They double-team Conley. Back to Anderson. Just two to shoot. No good from outside. And they had some botched coverage that turned into no coverage. Ball against Conley. Hart kicks the ball. And here's Kuzma. Takes a three. Sinks the triple. Kuzma's got seven points for the quarter. He's definitely turned things around in this game. I mean, he was more of a background player in the first half. He's jumped center stage now. And it's JaVale McGee with the foul. That's his third foul of the game. So it's the Grizzlies now. Outside Conley. Six on the shot clock. Over ball. And the Grizzlies tack on two more. And really the scoring this quarter has been just off the charts. Doing all he can to bring them back. James kicks to Hart. Passes it to Kuzma. From deep three-point range. But Grizzlies pull it in. That's excellent defense right there on the perimeter. Inside, Temple. It falls through, making him 6 for 11 in the game. This is a fantastic performance in this half. He didn't play as well in the first, but you know, you just know with this guy, he's always ready to turn it around. The pass to Kuzma. Anderson against James. It's good. LeBron's got 36. 
guys when LeBron is scoring like this as a defender it's hard not to throw timeout, up your timeout. arms and say I give up just so hard to slow him down timeout called the Grizzlies yeah he, he's got to make some adjustments here just too easy to score in the lane against them right now yeah there's no reason why they should be scoring at will down there easily as they have I mean they've got to be more aggressive inside Now the presentation of our Jordan player of the game, LeBron James. And it's been a ridiculous performance in the best sense possible. I mean, everything about his game has been working. And no matter what they've thrown at him, he's had the answer. He silenced this crowd with an unreal display. His ability to drown out the noise and the hostility of an opposing crowd is pretty special. Los Angeles on D. They lead by 17. And they're just playing fast and loose. Sometimes that'll burn you. You know, can't afford these kinds of mistakes right now, Greg. It's as simple as that. And they're making it hard on themselves. And it's ball in the corner. Good, and the assist goes to James. LeBron's got his seventh assist in the game. And, you know, ball, despite the quirkiness of the shot, he does have a quick release, so you got to know he's a threat to score whenever he has it in his hands. And the call will be against Lonzo Ball. That's his fifth foul. With social media providing instantaneous news, Clark players have to really watch what they say now I mean, before they hit the, the send button. Yeah, you got to pause before you peck, and you got to pause before you post. That's one of the things I would <laughs> well tell. Well said. Well said. That's what I would tell guys when I was talking about this landscape that they're in. Heavily scrutinized. And to the NBA players' credit, they've done a great job with social media. They're very visible. They're very accessible. They're well connected to the community through their platforms. But you you do have to uh, exercise some caution in how you go about your um, social media profile. James, the pass the ball. Down to five on the shot clock. Here's Kuzma. The Grizzlies pull it in. Well, guys, this was never really a contest. Just a total obliteration, if you will. And you can safely say mission accomplished now for the Lakers. You don't see this kind of a blowout often. But tonight, this is a quality win across the board to deliver out uh, this kind of punishment. They definitely never changed the approach. They just kept after it and showed they were clearly the better team in just about every single category. And for the year now, they'll be tallying their 16th win. And once it becomes official, this win gives them a nice confidence boost against this team. They'll face them twice more this season. The stats tell us, Greg, that the winner of the first game is a big favorite to come out on top in the overall series. And you know, when you look at the huge impact he had, just a monster game for LeBron. And you know, he was really important today. Integral, taking and making shots time and time again. Now, here's Ball. So it's Los Angeles winning this one easily. This crowd was stunned by the manner in which their team was dismantled. You know what? Shocking. I don't care what the matchup is. You never expect a road team to come in and just cruise to the kind of win they did tonight. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much, LeBron. Congrats on the win. 
where do you go mentally when you're in the rhythm like you were tonight? It's a zone you get into, and I, uh, you know, it's kind of unexplainable, you know. And you try to go out there, and you feel like there's nothing that you uh, can't do. Uh, you know, and hopefully the momentum just continued to go throughout the whole quarter, and it did. And not only did it open up for me, it opened up for the rest of us, too. I know that's got to be empowering, LeBron. Thanks very much. Back to you, Kevin. All right, David, thank you. And that about wraps it up. For Greg Anthony, Clark Kellogg, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. So long and good night, everyone.